The traditional carbonara recipe. Amazingly, just four simple ingredients to make this delicious dish. Pasta, eggs, cheese, and guanciale. This recipe takes only around 10 minutes to complete, but the timing of the steps is the key to getting them right. So make sure you follow the steps and visuals on your screen. Step one, let's prepare our utensils. Cooking with quality utensils is very important. For this recipe, we are using the following. A heavy pot, also called a Dutch oven, a large pot, a wooden cutting board plus a chef's knife, medium mixing bowl, a fork or a whisk, a good grater, a regular cup, some tongs, and that's all we need for this. If you're thinking about upgrading some of your cookware, then take a screenshot right now on your phone and hold down on the QR code. I've created a handy list for you on Amazon with a bunch of the things that we're using for today's cook, but you can use in many of your recipes. Step two, make sure to set out your ingredients so they're easy to work with. We need four eggs, one pack of dried spaghetti pasta, and make sure you use the dried kind so that it has all the good starch, 200 grams of guanciale, and two to 300 grams of pecorino romano. And we use pecorino because it's a very salty cheese and no salt goes into this recipe. Finally, some ground black pepper. You can either have the pre-ground stuff or like me, use the pepper grinder. Now that everything's set up, let's start cooking. First, remove the skin from your conchiale. Then cube it. You can cut it in any way you prefer, but as a general guide, it's good to have uniform pieces that look something like this. Let's get that on now. Place your cube meat into the heavy pot on medium heat and remember to stir occasionally. You'll see the guanciale rendering down and bringing in all the flavor of the dish, namely the salty and black pepper taste, as well as the oil with the smoky bacon taste. While that cooks, let's move on to the next step. Fill your second pot halfway with water and place onto high heat to get that to a boil. Don't forget to give your guanciale a stir. While those two are on the heat, we can prepare the carbonara mixture. This mixture is relatively simple. Grate the 200 grams of Pecorino Romano on the fine grater. And add four whole eggs and combine with a fork or a whisk. The mixture should be pretty thick when you're done. Should look something like this. While you're there, check on your guanciale. Make sure it's rendering nicely and starting to crisp up. We should be about four minutes into that now. So give it a little stir and check on your water as well to see if it's boiling yet. The next steps are a little bit tricky and what makes or breaks this recipe. Once the water is boiling, then add your pasta. We use the dried pasta, as we said, for its starchy content. This should take around seven minutes for al dente, but check the timing on your packet just in case. Okay, we're ready for the pasta. so. Go and add your pasta to the boiling water now. Make sure to go and have a look at your guanciale and give it a little stir. And in 3.5 minutes, we're gonna take some of that water out of that pasta. So get your cup ready. Okay, carefully with your cup, take out around half of a cup of water from the boiling pasta, which should look, be looking starchy. Place that to the side. It's now seven minutes and the pasta should be al dente. Use your tongs and start transferring the pasta from the pot into the heavy set pot with the guanciale in it. Don't worry about drying the pasta. Bring the water across with you. Use your tongs to stir and coat the pasta in the pot with the guanciale so the oil gets all over them. Now go to your carbonara sauce and slowly add the water you removed from the cup and whisk it into the sauce to temper it. Once this is done, go back to your pasta mixture and switch off the heat. Make sure to stir through and have all the pasta covered in the oil that's been in the heavy set pot. Now, grab your carbonara mixture and slowly Stir it into the pot with the pasta 
continuously stirring with the tongs until it's completely incorporated with the pasta and becomes creamy sauce. If you need a bit of extra liquid, use some from the pasta water to get it just right. And that's your carbonara done. All that's left now is to plate and enjoy. Here's a shot of what mine looks like.